everybody. My name is Caroline Lindemuth, and I'm an attorney in Crow and Dunleavy's Tulsa office. On behalf of the Labor and Employment Practice Group, I'm here to discuss this week's COVID-19 update. Today's topic is what does phase three of Oklahoma's open up and recover safely plan mean for you and your business? Believe it or not, Monday will be June 1st. That date may stick out to you because it is the target date for Oklahoma to enter phase three. It is not clear that our state rules will definitely change as of June 1st. We have generally thought of phase three as meaning business as usual, according to the governor's plan. However, that is not actually what the Oklahoma plan says. The Oklahoma plan does anticipate a return to unrestricted staffing but it also says that more details would be released once we enter phase two. Now, unfortunately, those details have not been issued yet, but we are keeping a close eye on the situation. Please be aware that the CDC has issued updated guidance that provides guidelines for reopening that are specifically tied to a three-stage reopening plan. However, it is important to remember that the CDC's three stages are tied to the White House gating criteria, which are different from Oklahoma's. Oklahoma's plan moves to new phases if, if there is not a significant increase in the number of new cases, whereas the White House criteria requires a true downward trajectory of new cases. So it is questionable whether we can use the CDC's phase three guidance when Oklahoma enters its phase three. So what might this mean for your company's OSHA compliance? Right now, we do not have any guidance on whether OSHA will hold an employer to the higher White House gating criteria for its reopening plans in a state such as Oklahoma, where the governor has issued different and more lenient gating criteria. So please be aware that there is a level of risk associated with using the CDC phase three guidance to interpret how we should act under Oklahoma's phase three. OSHA has made public announcements that make it seem like employers who are not following CDC guidance could find themselves in store for problems with OSHA if they become subject to a random audit and get an employee complaint or have a workplace outbreak. So regardless of what the governor says, you should consider what the CDC is saying. I know face coverings are a hot topic, so I will point out that the current CDC guidance for business and employers uh, continues to recommend that employers should encourage workers to wear a cloth face covering to work and also to remind customers of this as well. Unfortunately, the CDC guidance does not reference the different phases, so it is not clear when mask wearing will no longer be recommended by the CDC. Until we know more, be aware that relaxing the face mask requirement would entail a higher level of risk from an OSHA perspective. To summarize, first, we don't know yet what phase three of the Oklahoma plan will mean for businesses because new guidance hasn't been issued. Be aware that it probably isn't back to business as usual on June 1st though. Second, if you have not already reviewed the CDC's more recent guidance, we encourage you to do so. And third, even once Governor Stitt does announce the specifics of Oklahoma's phase three, be aware that employers may be held to CDC standards if OSHA should come their way. The Labor and Employment Group here at Crow and Dunleavy is closely monitoring new developments. As always, please seek legal counsel if you have specific questions about your business. I hope you all stay safe in the coming week and join us next week for our next weekly update.